Okay, welcome back again. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate multiple ring buffer using ArcGIS. So I have my radiation point. Make sure your point is in UTM, that means it is in meters. You can always cross check by right click, then properties. Then in source tab, you'll find the projection. Project consistency in UTM, and that it is in meter, linear unit. That's why you see meters here at the bottom. So let us let us go straight to the actual box where I'll show you how to calculate multiple ring buffer so i'll be having ring buffers for this particular radiation point all the way to all those three multiple ring buffer or more so i'll click my actual box here then i'll expand my analysis tool then multiple ring buffer by double clicking it the dialog box will appear like this one so on the right the instructions on how to use each every attribute so for input features i'll select this radiation point and for output feature class this is where you want your output to be saved i'll leave it by default to go to the default geodatabase. So for distances, make sure you're working with distance which you are very conversant with. So for buffer unit here, distance I'll put meters, metric, but you can always go for kilometers, inch, feet, decimal degree, centimeters, nautical mile, yard. So I'll put meters. Then for dissolve option, I'll put all, but you can get all the information here. What does the dissolve option means? That the buffer will be dissolved to zero rings around the input features. So I'll put it all. Then distances, I'll start for instance with 15, then I put an add sign, and I put 20, I mean, sorry, 30, then I put an add sign, then 45, add sign, then 60, then add sign. So these, they'll, I'll be having four rings, which show the from the central point of radiation point, how the radiation will be affected all the way to the 60 meters. So upon pressing OK, that means it will calculate in the background, multiple ring buffer, for this from the radiation point. So I'll go to the table of contents here so I can have a glance on how it will appear on our table of contents. While it is calculating the background here at the bottom, you can see it tries multiple ring buffer calculation and it's loading. So be patient because I have like four rings which I'm required to determine the radiation point. So let us wait for it. Okay, it is calculating in our ArcGIS. So this is very useful when you want to calculate uh, buffer for central points. Okay, yeah. Wow, bingo. It looks very beautiful like that. So you see, this is this the, this is 15, this is 30, 45, and you can always rename here. For instance, this is 15 meter, and this, in, this is the pink one. This the pink one is 30 meter. Yeah. 30 meter, I can I can label them from here. 30 meter. This is for 5 meter and 60 meter. Apply. Okay, so I have them. So you can always like that. Let us give it a bit better color. So this is the buffering multiple ring. I'll just choose this and the one which is a bit darker. Okay, just like that. And you can cross check. You have a ruler here, measure, for instance, from this point here. To here it is almost 15 because i'm not accurate then you can go here 30 same applies here 45 then here 60 so this is it this is the way of doing it so thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed make sure you subscribe to have more videos of the same caliber thank you a lot